We've got a special guest, haven't we? We've got Wes. Wes Morgan. Want to say hello? Hi. Hi. Are you guys are okay? Yeah. It's really good to be invited along, uh, meet the kids. They had some challenging questions, uh, but very important questions at the same time uh, to do with racism, uh, quality, diversity. So it was good for me to give them a insight into kind of what I'm involved in um, and my experiences growing up uh, in my football career and um, how things have changed. Listening to Wes talking about some of the issues that face the black players today, um, talking about some of the barriers that he's broken through himself and that his friends and peers have, that's been really educational for our young people, many of whom face a lot of barriers. They're not just barriers of race, but you know, it, it's a difficult time for young people at the moment anyway, and it's really important that they understand the importance of kindness as well as diversity, but also perseverance and belief that things will work out in a positive way. What do you think schools could do to tackle racism? Education is, is a big, big thing also. Explaining how you know, society is diverse now and um, equality is, is very important. Black History Month is a real opportunity for us to talk to our students about that diversity which is in every arena of life now and which is a huge positive difference not just in education or in football but in, in every arena of life. Well, I think the importance really is around um, ensuring the conversations happen so they get comfortable with the conversations. It is a hard topic. The importance really lays around um, creating a safe space for them to be able to have that conversation knowing that there's no judgment. Um, but really reiterating, actually, we're all here to learn. I've had to you know, speak to players and they've, they've shown me messages and some of the words you, you'll be very upset if you, if you saw yourself. And, um, yeah, it, it's not easy to deal with, I suppose, but... I said to the kids earlier, things have changed because in my early career, um, if you did experience any type of racism, um, the idea was mainly just to, you know, ignore it and let your feet do the talking and, and show them in that type of way. Um, things have came a long, long way now where, you know, we don't have to accept it. We can highlight any type of racist abuse. Um, if you've experienced racism on social media or, or anywhere, you know, you, you can report it and it's easily dealt with. Things have changed a, a lot, lot more and it's great to improve things on and off the field in, in terms of racism.